Eduard Bloch was an Austrian physician practicing in Linz, who, for many years until 1907, was the family doctor of Adolf Hitler and his family. When the Nazis annexed Austria in 1938, Hitler awarded Bloch special protection and personally intervened to ensure his safety, as Bloch was an Austrian Jew. The first member of the Hitler family Bloch saw was Adolf. In 1904, Adolf Hitler became seriously ill and was bedridden due to a serious lung ailment. Due to this, he was allowed to abandon his school career and return home. However, after checking Hitler's files, Bloch later maintained that he had treated the young man for only minor ailments, cold or tonsillitis, and that Hitler had been neither robust nor sickly. He also stated that Hitler did not have any illness whatsoever, let alone a lung disease. In 1907, Hitler's mother, Clara Hitler, was diagnosed with breast cancer. She died on the 21st of December after intense suffering involving daily medication with iodoform, a foul-smelling and painful corrosive treatment typically used at the time and administered by Bloch. Because of the poor economic situation of the Hitler family, Bloch charged reduced prices, sometimes taking no fee at all. This showed in 1908 when Hitler wrote Bloch a postcard assuring him of his gratitude and reverence, which he expressed with handmade gifts, for example, a large wall painting, which according to Bloch's daughter Gertrude was lost over time. Even in 1937, Hitler inquired about Bloch's well-being and called him an Edeljude, noble Jew. Bloch also apparently had a special fondness for the Hitler family, which may have saved his life. 